What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mack. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the uh, free agents, the upcoming free agents. This is the full list. I know I did a video on earlier about the free agents, um, but that was more of a roster position by position thing for the free agents. This one is more um, we are going to actually look at all the free agents. Um, so um, this list comes from the boardroom TV. Um, this is by Jonathan Tillman. So upcoming cowboy free agents. Number one, Brian Anger, the punter, Pro Bowl punter for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, he's only asking for a million. One million dollars for one year. That was his that was his um that was his salary. So I think we gotta keep him. I mean, we ain't had a good punter since well, a healthy Chris Jones, if you will. Next on the list, Dorrance Armstrong. Now see here's here's we're we're getting dicey already. We're getting dicey already. So you know what? Let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and, and go to them because we already know who number one. We already know who number one on the list should be. For some reason, I can't find him. Did he not put him on here? Is this is this is this is horrible. How do you not? Oh, there he is. No one. OK, this dude has lost all credibility. He put him as a linebacker. So let's talk about it. We got Dorrance Armstrong and we got Randy Gregory, who are who are unrestricted free agents this coming up season. So depending on what happens with Tank, if we keep Tank, my mindset is going to be more so we get rid of Dorrance Armstrong and we try everything in our power to keep um, Randy Gregory. Now I know Dorrance Armstrong had a pretty good year for a backup, but we've been waiting on him. And now he finally decides to, to show up. Um, Pass rushers are a high commodity in this league high commodity in this league it's hard to find a good one so the thing is Dorrance Armstrong is going to find he's going to get his he's going to get paid somebody's going to pay him they're going to look at his tape especially from this past year he's only he's only 24 seemed like he'd been on the team forever he's only 24 years old so he I mean we shall see um, if we can bring him back for cheap, bring him back. But if he has to be a casualty um, and we have to move on from him, that's fine. But I think the highest of highest of highest priorities is Randy Gregory. Um, next on the list is Francis Bernard. He's only 26 years old. Hey, I say we bring him back for the cheap. Good special teams player. Um, didn't really see the field much. Um, I don't know if Dan Quinn, if he's a Dan Quinn type of guy, that might be the issue. And then we got Jabril Cox coming back. There are a lot of, um, there are a lot of mock drafts that are thinking the Cowboys are either going to get N'Kobe thing, N'Kobe Dean from Georgia, who's a first round player. And or Derek Lloyd, and I think he's from Utah. If I if if um if I'm incorrect, please forgive me. But um, those are your two top tier linebackers in this year's NFL draft. So um, if if we can get one of them, you know, we'll see you later, Francis Bernard. Wide receiver Noah Brown. Bye bye. Bye bye. We don't need you. It's time to go. Please, I mean, do me a favor. Do all Cowboy fans a favor and just leave. I don't even know why. I don't I don't know. I don't know. 
this guy right here, cornerback Maurice Kennedy. Some of y'all don't even rem- don't, didn't even know he was on the team. He was supposedly like the best cornerback in training camp, at least playing the, um, the slot. And homeboy never saw the field. He was number 31, just to let y'all know. He's only 27 years old. His cap number was only $1.25 million. If we can bring him back cheap, I mean, here's what, the, first of all, let me explain this for those that y'all don't know. The Cowboys, in order, the reason the Cowboys have been known to be great, a great drafting team, is because when they, when free agency comes up, they fill all the holes first. So, with I think if I if I remember correctly, I think Jordan we brought Jordan Lewis back on a one year. Anthony Brown I think still has a couple of years, but if we we could free up some money if we move him. Um, Maurice Kennedy. Trying to think who my other cornerbacks are, and then we, you know, we have Kelvin Joseph and Nashawn Wright too. So you kind of you want five corners on your team. At least that's my preference. If I'm building a team, you want five corners, and you got three. Automatically, you got Trayvon, you got Nashawn Wright. We really got four. You got Anthony Brown, and you got um. Kelvin Joseph. So that's, yeah, that's four. So you really need one more. And from the draft podcast that I've been listening to, the Cowboys, or I should say the cornerbacks in this draft class are pretty good. Like you can probably find a solid guy in the third round, which is very good. So do we need him? Maybe not, but it is what it is. Next on the list, we have Corey Clement. Now, I ain't going to lie. I thought this was a bad pickup. I thought this was a bad pickup. And then watching preseason and the earlier games, I did not like him. But my man started playing well when we needed him in the the latter part of the year. (sighs) I say we bring him back. I say we bring him back more than likely because you need a veteran back there. Um, I like personally, I like Jaquan Hardy. He's currently on the practice squad. And then a lot of people forget about Rico Dattle. Rico Dattle is pretty good. He just, he, I think he tore his ACL. He, He had some type of season ending injury and that's why we didn't see him this season. So Rico Dattle is, is pretty good. But Corey Clement, um, he, look, his his salary cap number was less than a whole million. If we can bring him back, cool beans. Um, if not, hey, it is what it is. Um, and by the way, why not? Why was he running back? Is the easiest trend is the easiest position to transition into the NFL. I know me personally, I would just draft. I'm I'm drafting a running back every year, or at least. Un, an unrestricted one, uh, uh, a um, what do they call an undrafted running back every year? Every year, I'm drafting one. It is no, you know, but it is what it is. Next on the list, this is a big one Michael Gallup. Now, reports are saying that his injury, he'll be completely healed, completely healed by August, like he will be. Full go 100% by August. So that to me means he'll be able to participate a little bit in training camp. He won't be able to go be a full go. But by August, which is preseason, he'll be a full go, which means he'll be ready for the season. The question is, is there a team out there that is going to pay him the big money? Or can we bring him back for cheap? And all this stems on whether or not Amari Cooper, what whether whatever we do with Amari Cooper, you got you got you got two sides to Amari Cooper. You got a lot of people who are saying he's needed. We need Amari Cooper. We need that number one guy. But 
the thing about Dak Prescott and the wide receiver position, Dak Prescott doesn't target guys. He's not going to, he's not Tony Romo. He's not going to throw the ball to Des Bryant 15 times for 11, uh, for 11 catches. He's not doing that. That's not Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott is a ball distributor. So if y'all remember correctly, I think it was 2018 when they tried to do the, the, the wide receiver by committee and it didn't work and they traded that first round pick for Amari Cooper and it turned out to be a wonderful idea. A lot of people have a lot of people are having 2020 hindsight of that and saying we need Amari Cooper. But do we really need him? Was Amari Cooper really the problem? See, I think a lot of the problem with the offense was the coaching. Because Kellen Moore didn't do anything to put our team in position to win. On offense. But that's listen, I can I can talk about that. I might do another you know, I might do another video just on that. But we need to you know, I'm I'm we got a lot of people, we got a lot of free agents, ladies and gentlemen. Uh next person, linebacker Luke Gifford. Now, I like Luke Gifford. I watched him in a couple of preseason games and I saw flashes. I don't know what the I don't know what his issue is. Now, it could be a coaching thing. Now, he, the good thing is he's restricted. So, the Cowboys will probably put maybe a 5th round, 5th or 4th. I think he No, I think he'll put a 4th. Definitely a 5th round, maybe a 4th round. And if another team can't match that, then we get to keep him. The question is, do we want to keep him? I like Luke Gifford, but does is he the type of Matt linebacker that fix this scheme? Because I am not going to lie, when he was doing, when I saw him doing well, that was that Rod Marinelli, Chris Richard defense that he did well in. This year, it seemed like when he was on the field, he didn't have that type of flash. He was He did enough, but he wasn't that flashy type of guy. And while we're on the linebackers, let's just go ahead and bring let's just go ahead and bring him up, Leighton Vanderesh. I mean, what more can we say? Wolf Hunter. And I think this might be his last season. I think it's time to move on from Wolf Hunter. I really think it's time to move on from Wolf Hunter. He's he's only 26. And uh, if you know the story, if you know his story, he started playing football with seven on seven drills or none. It was like a seven on seven league because they literally did not have enough players to play football. And then he went to Boise State and started playing linebacker. And there's a lot of people thinking if he has if his number is too high. He's going, he's, he's, he's going to leave and he's either going to go to Chicago or the Texans. Here's the intriguing thing about that. If you know the Texans hired Lovey Smith as their head coach, who did Lovey Smith have in Chicago when they were dominating the league? Brian Erlacher, Leighton Van Der Esch's comp, comp was Brian Erlacher. So, is is he gonna be that guy for for the Houston Texans? But you know what? Hey man, talking about the Cowboys takes up some time. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to um, we're gonna table this, and I'm gonna come back at you with a with a, another video, and we'll we'll wrap this up in the second video. It's your boy Billy Mac. Um, like, subscribe, please share, um, support never alone. I'll holler at your boy. Peace.